What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going off the grid a bit to talk about Buff Bunny's new collection, Off the Grid. So when Buff Bunny first announced these pieces, I got really stoked because I am a nature lover at heart. The Off the Grid collection is made for the outdoors. We're talking camping, hiking, kayaking, fishing. All stuff that I really don't do. I don't camp because I've seen one too many horror movies of bears eating people. I don't want to be that person in a tent. But not for nothing, for those who don't know me, I grew up in the tippity top of New Jersey where it's super rural, right on the border of New York and Pennsylvania. So pretty much nothing but woods surrounding me 24 hours a day. I do love that. I don't live there right now, but I'm looking to go back to that eventually. Faye and I want to buy like 10 plus acres of land, maybe farm in the future. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's the overalls talking. So needless to say, when I saw the theme of this collection, I felt it on a personal level. So this collection is launching Saturday, November 5th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, you can always use my code GATA to help support this channel and also gives you 10% off every and any Buff Bunny order. Thank you so much if you do. It really does help out big time, keeps these videos coming your way. So always let me know, drop a comment if you do use my code so I can personally show you some love. So let's take a quick moment to see what they're launching in total so you can get an idea of what's actually launching and then we'll hop into what I have to share with you today. I'm really happy to see this side of Heidi. I know everybody on social media, you get hung up on the glitz and glam of things, like me too, like it's just natural. But I love seeing this authentic side because the Off The Grid collection was inspired by Heidi's home state of Alaska, basically where she's from, her roots, and I really admire that. So here's what they have to say about the campaign. When designing this collection and coming up with the campaign, the team wanted to incorporate her family in the place she loves the most, her childhood home. You'll see glimpses of the outdoors through the prints chosen, the color palette, the bungee cord details, or the over it alls that are perfect for hiking and spending time in nature. This collection is perfect for the fall season when people are traveling and spending more time with loved ones. There are even Sherpa items that will keep you warm and cozy for the entire fall and winter season. As you see the imagery created, we hope to represent the importance of family, the incredible Alaskan local natives, and showcase how strong women are by doing badass outdoor activities, canoeing, chopping wood, ATVing, and all the amazing things that make Alaska home for Heidi. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the first thing I noticed, other than the beautiful earth tones, were the plaids, the checkered prints, the plaids. Yes, it screams fall. You also have a pretty neat camo print going on here. Now, even though I'm slightly over camo, it does make sense to have it in this collection because it is outdoor theme after all. I even love the names of some of these colors, like graham cracker, oak, Carhartt. You see how they wrote Carhartt out? They took that copyright infringement and went out. Oh, and s'more sticks out to me. We have four different materials in this collection. There's signature Elysium, Energy, Nimbus, and Nubre, which is my favorite. So let's see what we got. We have the legacy legging. I got one in both the plaid and the checkered because I'm that bitch. The limitless legging, material girl legging, if you want more of a ribbed set, expedition legging, so we have some seam contouring going on there, confidential legging, this one has a lot of the camo print, legacy short, of course, confidential short, material girl ribbed short, Rosa Pocket Legging, the Bloom Sports Bra, which I'm wearing right now as a staple white piece under these really cute over it alls. Take note of the color options here, gals, because there's a ton to choose from. We have the Candy Wrap Sports Bra, Rosa Sports Bra, Henley Ribbed Crop, Heartbreaker Sports Bra, Confidential Sports Bra, Expedition Sports Bra, Ivy Crop Top, and here we are. We have the real fun shit right here. Buff Bunny Bomber, reversible, mm -hmm, I said that, reversible, thank you. Trail Mix Tank, cool, super appropriate, even though I have a food aversion to trail mix because I ate that for a full 24 hours one day while traveling, so don't come at me with trail mix ever. Intense Fleece, <laughs> reversible as well, two for the price of one. Twisted Tent Crop, looking like the Candy Wrap Sports Bra, but in long sleeve version. Roughing It Crop, this one I kinda wish I got. And then of course you have some dope accessories. You got the glute band, band. you have the glute band, the fleece headbands, which are also reversible to match your reversible fleece jackets. The over it alls, which are easily one of my favorite pieces of this entire collection, clearly, because I'm rocking it right now. If you love your buff bunny bags, now they have it in Sherpa version. 
Sherpa wallet, Sherpa belt bag, and oh my god, they even did it on the Sherpa toe. I don't know if I love that though. <laughs> and of course, I will put in the Q&A because that's always helpful. So feel free to pause the video, take screenshots if you need. And of course, if you have a question that's not covered, feel free to comment down below. I'm always here to help if I can. So let's hop into my personal favorites that I chose to share with you in today's video. These were handpicked by me. These were my favorites out of the bunch. Let's see what we got. So starting with the over it alls, I actually grabbed two because I knew I would love it. I saw the material, I saw there was spandex in it. That's what convinced me that I need these in my life. Me and denim, hmm. Overalls and me, we just kind of clash sometimes because I don't like stiff material. When I saw there was spandex in this, I was like, okay, we stand a chance. Plus, Heidi looks super cute in the real pretty ivory color. I went for the darker colors. I got one in a Carhartt and I got one in olive green because I do intend on genuinely wearing these outside and I know, I just know myself and I will get it filthy. So I don't stand a chance in the ivory. I'm not even gonna attempt it. So let's go ahead and check out the features, the length, the fit, everything you need to know about these over it alls. So one of the first things I noticed about these over it alls is the fact that there's four buttons down the left hip. This is essential for me because getting these on would be impossible without them. Now, if you're somebody with larger hips, glutes, thighs, this meaty area right here. I would suggest if you're in between sizes to size up. Remember, I'm on my last notch here. If there was three instead of four notches, this wouldn't have gotten past my hips. But other than that, I would say these are very true to size. I struggle big time with overalls, especially in the crotch region. But the way they designed this, they really took into consideration the comfort level and the aesthetic. When I'm sitting and speaking, nothing was digging up in the crotch. You know that uncomfortable denim right in the middle of your crotch feel? Nothing was riding up stiff or uncomfortable. I mean, for overalls, like there's a decent amount of stretch here. There's a lot to cover here. So starting from the top, working our way down. You have adjustable straps up top. You also have a small zip pocket in the front, an open bigger pocket right in the middle. Curious to see if Bay's clunky phone fits in it. And it does. How about that? All right, cool, sold. Overalls are known for being super boxy, but we don't have to worry about that here, ladies. We have a built-in belt just to snatch up that waist, give some curve to this outfit. I love waist cinchers on dresses, anything where it has the potential of looking just real boxy and big on me. This is what it will look like if you don't cinch it in. Keep in mind, you can totally get rid of this belt and take it off, it's not stitched onto this. You also have two front pockets, two back pockets and a wide leg. It's ever so slightly long, but wearing regular shoes, it won't hit the ground for me. Keep in mind, I'm five foot three. So it is pretty insulating. It's dense, good, durable quality. But I will say for overalls, it's fairly lightweight. It's not something that's just like pulling down on me. It's not really heavy. It's very lightweight. I can't decide between the olive green or the Carhartt color. I don't know, every time I put this on, I'm kind of like olive green. Something very important we need to touch base on here is how does the booty look? <laughs> For overalls, it's not bad. <laughs> Super flattering on the behind, and I think it has a lot to do with this waist cincher right here. So it pulls the material in right here, and then your booty could just fill out the bottom a bit. Typically with overalls, the material just drowns out the booty. You have all this excess material, not in this case. They really designed it in a way to flatter the curves. We have the buff bunny bomber, reversible as well. So on the outside, it's a faux Sherpa. On the inside, it's more of a sheen look. So you don't have the draw cord waist right here to cinch it in, but you do have other functions here. You have a hood, whereas the fleece does not. You also have two pockets as well. I think this mossy is very pretty. It's like a light sage, a little darker than that. This I actually plan to pair with the olive green over it alls. I think it would look kind of cute. I don't know for a fact, we'll, we'll see. So here's how the length looks. It's a little more on the midi side than the cropped. You have two pockets, no draw cord or anything to cinch in here. I'm wearing my true size small and I would definitely say it's very true to size. Something I notice is how big the hood is. Just so you have an idea. I definitely prefer this side a little bit better because it goes with the outfit. Keep in mind you have pockets both on the outside and the inside, they didn't go skimp. You gotta keep this in mind though. The bomber jackets can be washed at home. 
these fleece jackets cannot. They have to be dry cleaned, and I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that. It's very important to keep in mind because how much work are you willing to put into a jacket? So I went with a full checkered set because full. We have the Bloom Sports Bra and the Legacy Leggings. All new Bray fabric, my favorite because it's buttery soft. So like I said before, this checkered print is very fall inspired. You'll see in a second, I also have a red plaid, which is very Christmassy. So the red plaid, we have the candy wrap sports bra, and again, the legacy leggings. If you guys don't know, I've said this in every single Buff Bunny video, legacy leggings are my favorite, and I do believe I'm gonna go ahead and say the candy wrap sports bra is one of my favorites too, so this is just a set made in heaven. So I sized down in the sports bra to an extra small and kept my small in the legacy leggings. I'm glad I sized down in the Bloom sports bra, but something crazy that I have to note is that white sports bra you saw when I wore the Carhartt overalls is the same as this one, but this one fits 10 times better and they're both in an extra small. For some reason, the white fit so snug that I felt the pressure of the straps right here and it was starting to give me a little bit of a headache. So if I could do it over again, the white I'd order in a small, these I would keep in an extra small. I don't make the rules here. I like the curvature of the seam that follows the strap and just curves right around. Really good for side boob coverage. I think I did read up that they corrected this a little bit from the previous launch, so there's a little more side boob coverage. You can definitely feel it. I like that little bit of security, but it's not pinching in. You have a ruched detailing right down the middle, and this band right here is not an elastic band. I always have to make that known, so you know what to expect. It's just a flap of material. Like you didn't know this was coming. <laughs> From posh to sporty, just like that. Backing is fairly straightforward, no adjustments. You do have the removable bra pads, of course. I'd give this probably a moderate support at best. Onto the leggings, I always test out the prints by squatting. Getting in a very low squat to see if any print fades. These are spot on. I really appreciate the fact that the integrity of the legging, the print just stays whole and consistent. Overall, really pretty set, very fitting for the fall time. And just like that, we're hopping right into Christmas. We have again, the legacy leggings, this time the candy wrap sports bra. So the candy wrap sports bra, I sized down to an extra small and I kept the small in the legacy leggings. Really love the fact that they broke up the straps with a solid black. And in case you haven't noticed all these red check, red flannel looking prints, all have a black seam. I'm glad they kept that consistent. The black seam is methodical because it blends right in with the rest of the plaid. The only seams that are very obvious are the tri seams on the back, but that's okay because that is the focal point of this legging. And just like the red check, there is zero fade, especially in a low squat, no pattern fade whatsoever. Let's talk the sports bra though for real. I am so happy they kept the candy wrap sports bra around because it's for sure my fave. You have the adjustable thick straps, so comfortable. I mean, look at that stretch in the strap. Are you seeing this? Very flattering on the chesticles. You can't even deny it. So I did a little mix and matching with that Material Girl fabric. We have the Material Girl leggings in oak, really nice, pretty dark, but yet still warm brown. And the Henley crop top in graham cracker. So I wanted a nice mixture of brown tones for this set. It is an all over rib. So very comfy, very cozy, perfect for athleisure. And it pairs so perfectly with the leggings because again, rib on rib. I have a size small in both the leggings and the top two. This one I did not size down in because I've never tried it before. I'm actually very glad I didn't size down. Wouldn't want it any more snug than it is right now. So I would say this is very true to size. Appreciate the fact that these four, but no, three buttons are real. You also actually have a built-in bra underneath, which is nice. Removable bra pads as well. No adjustments other than that. The length is pretty nice. It covers my torso as long as I don't lift my hands up. Overall, very stretchy, comfortable top, as well as the leggings. Again, this is a full rib set, so just less leisure and chilling. Material Girl leggings, I like them because they're ribbed, they're very casual. These are very squat proof as well, in case you're wondering. I think they hug the glutes nicely, but one thing I do notice with this type of material is a little bit of that wrinkle going on right in the groin area. I don't notice that on the Legacy or anything else. It's the Material Girl where I notice this a lot. I particularly wanted to pair this set with the Intense Fleece in the color taupe. Now when I got it in, I was a little bit mm, bummed because the browns are not the exact same shade, 
but I do think it's passable. So for example, this oak brown and this taupe, the taupe's a lot more of a muted brown and the oak is a little more vibrant and warm. But you know what? It still works, it's fine, we're gonna be okay. So it's reversible, which side do you like, the plaid or the white? I'm obviously going with the plaid. The white's gonna get so filthy. This is gonna get filthy, who am I kidding? So unlike the bomber jacket, which was a full zip, the fleece jackets are a half zip. A little more cropped as well, I would say. You do have the adjustment cord. Now you know me, I would've really loved to see this in a full length. Looks cute as hell the way it is, but I like my full lengths too to genuinely keep warm. I would say the fleece is warmer than the bomber jacket, even though the bomber jacket is technically denser and heavier. Whereas the bomber jacket you can wash at home, the fleece, you have to dry clean it. I've never been to a dry cleaner in my life. Okay? Even if it says dry clean on the label, I don't do it. Because these are reversible jackets, you can get away with rolling up the sleeves, even popping the collar down a bit and showing what's underneath. Makes for a really cute accent, just divvying it up a little bit. You can really see the heavy contrast in the red plaid particularly. So if you really wanna make a statement, that red plaid would do that for you. These headbands are a must if you're getting these fleece jackets. Don't you dare get one without the other. Reversible as well, and only one side has the silver emblem. It's the plain solid side. So this is an adjustable headband. It's just Velcro. The curved side obviously goes down over the ears, keeping them nice and warm. What do we think? Do you like that match? I also got the intense fleece in this red plaid. So we got the red plaid and then inside just plain black. I'm not gonna lie, I actually wanted to do a full plaid over the top plaid outfit plaid bra, plaid leggings, and plaid jacket. But then I realized that neither of these actually went. You see what I mean? None would look quite right with this. So now that I know that, I'm actually planning to just wear full black underneath and just let this be the pop, the center of attention with the matching headband, of course. Alrighty, what do you guys think of the new Buff Bunny Off The Grid collection? Do not forget, it is launching Saturday, November 5th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, thank you so much if you use my code GATA to help support this channel and to save yourself 10%. So I think it's safe to say that Buff Bunny nailed yet another collection. I really don't know how they do it. How do they keep coming out with these stellar ideas? Right when I think that a collection has sold me, it's my ultimate favorite, they'll come out with another collection that replaces that one. <laughs> I used to say that the Sugar Rush was my favorite, now I'm absolutely going with the Off The Grid collection. So definitely don't forget to subscribe because we have a ton of exciting videos coming next. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.